Hi everyone, I'm George. This is Pete. This is going to be a very informal vlog about a day of aquascaping, so enjoy the journey. So it's a beautiful day here in sunny Cambridgeshire. We're on our way to Aquarium Gardens uh, where Pete's going to buy a load of plants and hardscape for a new aquascape and we'll show you the whole the whole process and as a bonus thing we're going to do a, an update on his awesome Aquascaper 600 Iwagumi that I set up what, two months ago, three months ago? Yeah, about that, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So here we are at Aquarium Gardens. Look if you would have seen the shop already. Here's the showroom which basically look after all the tanks in here, maintain them once a week. Pretty sweet. Let me know in the comments what's your favourite scope. Oh, these. Oh, yeah. So, epic hardscape selection here. We've got some mini landscape rock, some sort of generic driftwood, bogwood, dragonstone, and then moving through here, um, even more woods, manzanita wood, redmore roots, lava stone. Pagoda, loads of different types of stones here. So sport for choice, literally. I think Pete's a bit overwhelmed, actually. Um, I've shortlisted this bit of wood here, um, which is river wood, and I think it looks awesome. There's some more river wood here. So loads of opportunity. The tank is only a, um, it's a Lido, dual Lido 120. So it only measures 71 centimetres uh, by 61 tall. So it's not a huge tank. So we do need to make sure the, uh, obviously the wood and the rocks fit. So we can use this area here. We've got a big sort of metal ruler so we can measure out to make sure everything fits in there. So we've pretty much decided on a basic hardscape composition. We've got one bit of wood. This is a giant rock. Uh, we're happy with it. I think Pete's happy with it, yeah, happy with it. Yeah, let's go and look at the plants. Uh, we've got some Lugia, Lugia Palustris, Pictocorine, Wendetii Green, uh, let's turn around. Lemnophila Hipparoides, Pictocorine Ketchii, um, three different species of Bukia Philandra. You can read the labels. I'll go through these in more detail when we actually plant. And then we've also got some tried at fern attached to wood here and some actually it's actually done a planter hunter scapers gravel called rio zingu we're going to use that as a little kind of uh, finishing touch around the cosmetic sand foreground okay so we're on our way to pete's house in colchester in essex it's about an hour and a half drive uh, we're on the motorway right now i think we're on yeah we're gonna get there for lunchtime i'm hungry so Hopefully Pete's going to make some nice sandwiches when we get there. So I'm here at Pete's house. Let's take a look. Here's the Irigumi that I set up two months ago. I'll do a full video on this soon. And then through here, this is the tank that we're going to rescape uh, later today. So while I'm filming the Irigumi, Pete's going to take all the plants out, <coughs> take all the fish out, drain it, and then we're gonna scape it from scratch. Excited. So I've got a new friend here. Uh, likes to lick the camera. Okay, so I get uh, asked a lot about my camera kit, so I just thought I'd take the opportunity to show you. This is the, the travel bag I use most of the time, and open it up. Uh, we've got a black sheet for blocking out reflections. This is my Canon 6D. Uh, with the 17 to 40 L lens, which is great for wide angle shots. This is my macro lens, 100 mil, brilliant lens as well. And this is my 24 to 105, which is like a general purpose, still a good lens. That's the 50 mil prime lens, really cheap, cheerful, but the optics are really great, really great value for money. Uh, just the microfiber cloth between the lenses, and then there's my lav mic and cable. I don't run a that's pretty much it. Oh, and then there's my, my tripod, which is on a fluid <coughs> fluid drag head. That's how I try to get the, the smooth panning shots that hopefully you see. 